This is the number one ultimate hand cam dribble tutorial on all of YouTube. If you want to learn the LT cancel, the John Morant glitchy spin, the fat stop, and hundreds of the best moves in the game, you've came to the right place. Sit back, grab a notepad, and get ready to turn into a dribbling demon. What's up guys, it's a little back with another video. Now today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to dribble like the most elite players on the game. I'm gonna be giving you guys a hand cam dribble tutorial, the best dribble moves in the game, the best settings, the best ways to score, and all the tips that the best guards in the game do not want you to know. If you guys like giveaways, then listen up. 92% of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you're one of those people, make sure to click the red subscribe button. And if you guys are a subscriber, I'm doing an NBA 2K24 giveaway for all my subs. So make sure your subs with noties on, and then comment that you're subbed with either your Instagram or your Twitter at and make sure that it's actually me DMing you if you want. Don't fall for no scams. I'm not going to ask you for any details like your passwords. It's time to do some Christmas giveaways and shout out 2K for this giveaway. Without further ado, we got a quick word from today's sponsor and then we're jumping into the dribble moves. Lamar Jackson just needs one yard tonight for you to make money. If you guys get on Underdog Fantasy and use code SOLI, you'll get a one yard special. Whether you get on tonight for this Lamar Jackson special or you get on for Monday night for Jalen Hurts one yard special, you're gonna get a special with code SOLO. And code SOLO will also double your first deposit up to $100. As you guys can see, all Underdog Fantasy is is higher or lower on your favorite player's player stats. I have five picks here for the NFL this week. And as you guys can see, and if I was to put down $10, I'd win 200 if all of them were correct. So if you guys think you're smart and you know a lot about sports, you might as well put your knowledge to the test. Try to make some money. Also, they have a ton of different drafts. A lot of these are just for one week or one night of NBA. And by one week, I mean for football. So it's not like your fantasy leagues with your friends where you got to go in and set your lineup every week. Like look right here. You can draft for just week 15. Again, don't miss out on the one yard specials. You have to use code solo when you sign up in order to get them. It'll also double your first deposit up to $100. Don't miss out. The NFL season's coming to an end and this is the best time to make picks. Okay, I'm now in the city. As you guys can see, if you guys are on current gen and you're on the goat boat, I think that's what it's called. I don't even know what it's called, but all I know is y'all boys are not in this city. It's the same game. As far as the dribbling goes, it's pretty much the same, you know, gameplay. So all of this is the same. Now for my settings, this does not really matter as much. You guys can copy these down, but there's not really any dribbling settings in here. Next up, we got the controller settings. And this is important because if you have something wrong, you will not be able to dribble like the best guards in the game. A lot of the stuff at the top here is for jump shots. So if you guys want my jump shot video, I'll put the link to that in the description, but all that, you know, doesn't really matter for dribbling. But what does matter is down here, pro stick orientation. Make sure this is on absolute and pro stick function actually matters for dribbling. I use default, but if you randomly shoot a lot when you're dribbling, then you might want to put this on dribble moves. But if you do that, then you can't dunk with the stick. You can't shoot with the stick, which I don't shoot with the stick, but you can't dunk with the stick. So I like to dunk with the stick and take layups with the stick. So I have this on default. And here's the rest of my controller settings if you guys want them. And before I show you guys the dribble moves, it's important that you guys do the weekly work workout you guys see in the top right i have the additional turbo meter active and how you guys do the weekly workout is if you pull out the map you go to the gatorade training facility this is also on current gen so make sure you guys go here do your workouts you got to do the bench press you got to do the ladder and stuff like that get three stars or better if you get like two stars then maybe just dashboard or close app i think it'll allow you to restart if you close up while you're in the workout still and you know you're gonna fail but also once you guys hit starter two as you can see on the bottom you unlock a permanent additional turbo meter so you will never have to do the workouts again now we have the part of the video that I know a lot of you guys clicked on this video for, and that is the best dribble moves in the game. Now sub up if y'all boys haven't. I'm plugging y'all with everything from jump shots to builds to dribble moves. And I got a real quick disclaimer, so listen up. I don't know what build that you guys have. Whether you have a 6-2 with a 95 ball handle, or you have a 6-6 with an 85 ball handle, all these dribble moves are not going to fit onto your build. So, say when we talk about the dribble style, I'm going to mention what dribble styles you should use if you're 6-2 and you have a really high ball handle, or you're 6-4, or whether you're 6-6 or 6-8. So listen up. I'm mention a few drill moves depending on what build you're on starting out we have the pass style this really depends on your build because all builds have different pass styles it doesn't matter that much i use trey young on this build so if you can get that then put it on if you have a higher pass accuracy than me then put on one of the ones like lebron magic or maybe tyrese halliburton now we have our dribble style this matters a lot in nba 2k24 and this comes down to two different moves. You have the Kyrie Irving dribble style, which is the best one in the game, but you need a 90 plus speed of the ball and you gotta be under 605. And for all these dribble moves, guys, the requirements will be in the bottom of hand corner. So just check that, see if your build fits those requirements. Use Kyrie Irving if you can, but I know a lot of you guys can't. I know there's a lot of 6'6 six, six builds on this game that won't be able to get Kyrie Irving. So if you can't, then get Magic Johnson. You only need a 75 plus speed of ball and you could be under 6'10". Guys, for all these moves that I'm showing you guys, at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to effectively use them 
because you can put on Magic Johnson dribble style, but if you don't know how to use it, then you're going to look like a bot. Now we have our signature size up and same thing as before. If you guys have a very high ball handle and you're on a short build, then get Steve Francis. You do need a 95 plus ball handle, so it's very tough to get, but this is probably the best one in the game. And then for the builds that are like 6'6", six, six, you know, you got a lower ball handle. I use Tracy McGrady in the 85 plus for this one. And if your ball handle still isn't that high, then I recommend going with De'Aaron Fox. That is at an 80 plus ball handle. If you can't get that, then I mean, you probably shouldn't be watching a dribble tutorial if your ball handle is that low, but I'd probably go with something like Paul George. Now we have our regular breakdown combo. I don't think this matters that much. I really never, you know, fire it off when I'm dribbling. So for the builds that can get it, put on Steve Francis at an 85 plus ball handle. And then for the builds that have a lower ball handle, I use De'Aaron Fox. Also, if you're taller, you're going to have to use De'Aaron Fox, 80 plus ball handle under six foot 10. Now we have the aggressive breakdown combo. And if you want to know how to do the John Morant glitchy spin, as I'm going to show you how to do at the end of the video. And this is one of the glitchiest moves in the game. You need to put on the John Morant's aggressive breakdown combo. There's really no other ones that I use on all of my builds. I use John Morant. It's only at a 75 plus ball handle, So pretty much everything can get it. And you got to be under six foot 10. Now we have our escape moves. This is one of the most important drill moves in the entire game. If you guys see Stephen Curry, this is not the Curry slide in 2K20 and 2K21 in years past. The Curry slide was equipped with the escape move that has to do with the Curry behind the back. So don't worry about the Steph Curry escape move. The two best escape moves in the entire game is one Trey Young and number two Kemba Walker. However, even on the builds that have a crazy ball handle, I'm still using Kemba Walker. I prefer it a little bit more, although Kemba and Trey Young are pretty much the same, so it's personal preference. And if your ball handle is not high enough to get Kemba, then I would go with John Wall. Combo moves is another drill move that I really don't fire off at all. It doesn't matter that much. I just put Jason Tatum on all my builds. For our crossover, this works for pretty much every build. I use De'Aaron Fox, which is at an 80 plus ball handle. You got to be under six foot ten. Crossover doesn't matter too much, so if you have a lower ball handle, then just put one random on that you think looks nice behind the back is one of the most important dream moves this year and there are a lot of good ones as i said before if you want the curry slide you got to put on stephen curry behind the back although i don't use it i don't think it's that effective there are a lot of better ones if your ball handle is really low you could use demar Derozan. and this behind the back is one that i used for like a day earlier in the year it's not the best but it is solid same with james harden this one is also solid however the behind the back animation is so good and it flings you so far that it takes a little bit too long to play out that's why everybody pretty much uses Jamal Murray behind the back like all the best guards like 90% of them 95% of them use Jamal Murray so put this on it's only an 83 plus ball handle, so most builds can get it and you got to be under six foot ten spins really don't matter if you have one that you like you can put it on but on all my builds I use basic spin hesitation is another move that I don't think matters too much and on all my builds I use John Morant step back matters a lot for how I dribble and if you guys are going to do the snatch back which I will show you how to do later in the video which is one of the best moves in the entire game then you want to use either Stephen Curry if you can get it it's a 92 plus ball you got to be under six foot five. So use that if you can get it. If you can't get it, then use John Wall, 80 plus ball handle under six foot 10. If you don't care for the snatch backs and you want an actual good step back, like when you're running and you do a step back and shoot off of it, then use Luka Doncic. This one will create the most space for you. And again, I'm going to show you how to do the snatch back and use it effectively. So if you're going to do that and put on Steph Curry or put on John Wall, if you can't get Steph Curry. The triple threat style, I use Kobe Bryant. Listen up, now that you guys have the Drew moves, I'm gonna show you how to be the most effective with these moves. And I'm gonna show you guys how to score literally every single time. If you guys are on next gen, you guys can go to the Gatorade training facility again. It's right here on the map. There are practice courts where you can dribble on. If you're brand new to the game, once you go inside, you'll see this back door right here where you can reserve a private court and go upstairs. Once you're up here, you'll see a court with your name on it. You wanna go inside, click the left bumper. I think on PlayStation, it'll be L2 to pull out your ball and start dribbling some of the moves that i'm going to show you guys how to do is going to be the john morant glitchy spin like that or the lt cancel where you can stop on a dime and do any dribble move just like i did there or right here i'm also going to show you guys how to do the fast stop which looks just like that and when you shoot off of it it's pretty much an open literally every single time off of that right there most of the time your defender will get stuck behind you but listen up if you're brand new to the game and you don't know how to do a move like this which is the you know the kemba walker where you could run out of it or if you don't know how to do a simple behind the back or you know with Steve Francis and run out of it like that. Watch my beginner dribble tutorial. I'll put a link in the description because this one's going to be for the advanced players or you don't have to be that advanced. You just can't be like a day one player that literally doesn't know how to do simple moves like this. And I'll try to explain them quick if you guys want to stay on this video, but I'm not going to go too in depth on the simple stuff. Matter of fact, I will show you guys how to do the Kemba Walker size up escape or if you guys have on Trey Young, it's pretty much the same thing. And that is this. You'll see a lot of the comp guards doing this move back and forth. They will also do the LT cancel, which will stop you on a 
on a dime and make you go the other direction. I'll do it one more time for y'all. You stop on a dime and you run the other way just like I did right there. Now, how you do the Trey Young is you hold the sprint button and then you want to flick the right stick to the top left. So imagine a clock for your stick. If you know what times are on a clock, you want to go to like 1030 with the right stick. And then with the left stick, right after you flick, you just wanna run in that direction. So we're gonna run left. So obviously the left stick's gonna go to the left. Now here, we're gonna go to like 1.30 on the clock. So we're gonna go top right with the right stick. And then we're just gonna run in that direction. Now that you guys know how to do that, when you're running, something you can do is duo behind the back. I'm gonna teach you guys how to LT cancel, which will make it look a lot more cleaner and it'll be a lot more quicker just like that. Well, hold on, I messed it up just like that like right there but if you do it regularly without doing the lt cancel it'll be slower and just like that if you guys are on a short guard and you guys have steve francis signature size up all you want to do is flick and then run in that direction so with the right stick you flick to like the top right and then run or you flick to the top left and then run but if you do it too quick you'll get this uh, momentum just like that so you want to kind of get the timing down with it and if you're a small guard the steve francis is going to be something that you want to do a lot just to run out of like you see how fast it is just flicking and running i'm about to go on my 6-6 but yeah the steve francis is pretty much the only move that the 6-6 can't get other than the Kyrie dribble style which looks just like this and if you're going to run the opposite way it looks like this i'm about to compare it to the magic johnson so when you're just running around this is what the Kyrie dribble style looks like when you cross your body that's the speed boost you get out of it and when you run same side you could tell you actually get a pretty decent speed boost on the same side running like this okay so now that i'm on my six six and we have the magic johnson dribble style if you run opposite of the ball hand so you go across your body this is what it looks like and this is one of the most overpowered things in the entire game there are so many players that this is their entire play style they just spam magic johnson i'm sure you've played him before they'll do this maybe mixing it behind the back magic johnson and then they just go Hold on, I messed it up right there. But Magic Johnson, Magic Johnson. And all you're doing is running the opposite way. So if the ball's in your right, you want to hold sprint, just run left. If the ball's in your left, you just run to the right, just like that. But if you run same ball hand, this is the thing. You don't get a speed boost. Look at it. It looks kind of dumb. That's all you get out of it. So that's why Kyrie is a little bit better because you can get the same hand speed boost if you guys don't know how to do the snatch back which looks just like that all you want to do is hold the right trigger and flick down on the right stick and something that i don't do a lot but a lot of great players do is the step back so it looks just like that you want to touch nothing except the right stick flick it down so don't hold sprint don't hold anything flick the right stick down so some people would just be dribbling they'll get kind of near the midi and then just step back like that for three now i got to show you all how to do the misdirection behind the back which looks just like this if you let the whole animation play out it does that or you can you know spam it back and forth like this once you get the timing down really good if the ball is in your right hand you want to hold the sprint button right stick is going to go top left i'm going to put the arrows on the screen right stick goes to the top left and the left stick just goes straight left and it'll do that and if the ball's in your left hand it's the same thing but opposite so the right stick goes to the top right and the left stick goes to the left or the bottom left and it'll look just like this and you can spam it back and forth some people do snatch back, you know what I'm saying? Step back, you know, you can mix it in. It looks pretty cool. It's one of the, not the hardest moves to do, but it is, you know, you're touching both sticks. It's kind of a lot of movement. So a lot of the basic players don't know how to really do a misdirection behind the back. And of course, like I said, once you get the timing down, you can spam it back and forth. It's literally, as I said before, if the ball's in your left hand, you know what to do, rewind the video. And if the ball's in this hand, you know what to do, rewind the video. So you're just spamming it literally back and forth like this. Okay, so now we're getting into the advanced moves. There are pretty much three different sections here. The first one is gonna be the easiest and this is gonna be the fat stop. Now this is a move you'll see a lot of the best players do. It looks just like that. So when you're looking at this, you're probably like, bro, what is Solo saying? This move is ass. But in reality, when you're coming down the court and you do a fat stop, your defender a lot of the time gets stuck behind you or on your side. And if you shoot it off a fat stop, just like that you will be open majority of the time it's a really op move and it looks just like this i'll do it one more time bang just like that it kind of looked a little weird there but there's, there's different versions but just like that right there that's the main move you're going to look for to you know try and get normally you're going to be running down the course you're holding the sprint button but for this move let's just practice it without holding the sprint button because when you do the move you don't have the sprint button so hold nothing you're going to walk forward just like this and then with the left stick you pretty much just want to go to the bottom right so for the balls in the right hand and we're walking you want to go bottom left with it and if you're walking with the ball in the left hand you want to go bottom right kind of hard to do when i'm just walking but if i'm running and let go of everything bang you get a better animation so you want to run 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 let go of everything it's just the left stick you let go of the sprint button let go of the right stick left stick just go bottom right or if the ball's in your right hand and you're running left stick bottom left perfect animation you want to go for is going to look just like that and the defender a lot of the time will get stuck behind you or on your side like i said and you'll 
they'll shoot an open off of it. I know it doesn't look like the craziest move, but a lot of the best players do it. All the best guards do it. And this is something you definitely want to have in your bag. Again, it's just the left stick. If the ball's in your left hand, the left stick's going bottom right, just like that. That's all it is. Now we have the LT cancel. And this is a move that I don't put in the basic drip moves. When I drop the drip moves every season, I don't put it in this because it's too advanced to explain. This is the single you know hardest move to learn in the entire game because it takes a lot of timing so i need you guys to focus up sit back rewind the video if you need to because it's going to be a little tough it's going to be difficult you're not going to get it on your first try if you've never done it before if you're on playstation it's l2 it's the button that makes you post up like this on xbox it's the left trigger and when you hold this button it allows you to cancel out of certain moves so let's say that i'm going to do the behind the back regularly it'll look just like this it's very slow. But if you do the LT cancel while you do it, you get a very fast, you know, stop on a dime behind the back like this. If you were to do the regular snatch back, it'll be slow. But if you're running snatch back out of the LT, it's a little bit quicker. Same with the Trey Young. If you're gonna go back and forth, you gotta stop just like this. But if you do the LT, you go fast like that. Now the behind the back's the easy one. Of course, I have a Jamal Murray behind the back. This is the easy one. The Kemba Walker size up where you're going left and right like this and stopping on a dime, that one's hard. For the Jamal Murray behind the back, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna be running and right before we do the Jamal Murray behind the back, we wanna hold our left trigger. So hold behind the back. It's all about timing. You're not gonna get it on your first try and if you do, that's crazy. So you're running, 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 hold behind the back just like that running 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 hold left trigger behind the back and with this you have a little bit more you know lenience you can hold the left trigger early if you want just like that and you know you get it if you see this post up animation like that if you don't even want to do the behind the back but you just want to practice this little post up that's the animation you want to get but before it even puts you in the post up you want to do the behind the back so this is what it looks like as you guys can tell practice it get the timing down it's going to be hard at first but the behind the back is the easiest of all the moves to learn you know how to lt cancel out of. we're going to start off with the easy ones the next easy one that i do a lot is the snatch back just like that bang oh my god it's a kill move your defender goes flying they think you're driving in and then hold on bang you're snatching it back for three of course the snatch back is right trigger aka the sprint button and then just down on the stick just like that and again right before you do the snatch back you want to hold the left trigger that's all it is. it's very simple running 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 hold the left trigger snatch back just like that i don't want to spend too much time on this one because i feel like it is kind of more simple left trigger snatch back just like that now we have the hard one we have the kemba walker size up or the trey young size up lt cancel hold on let me go bang bang run out of it like that this one took me weeks i'm not gonna lie to y'all this one it got me frustrated this this is one of those where you know what i'm saying when you do math homework back in the day there's a random analogy you be doing math homework and you don't you don't know how to do it you for you weren't focused in class you know what i'm saying or even if you were focused you just don't know how to you know do the equation and you just start getting mad because you literally can't figure it out this is one of those it might get you frustrated it's all about timing you might have to try it if you can't get it come back to this video the next day that's what happened to me, bro. One day it all clicked. I thought I was doing everything right. And then one day it clicked. There's a ton of moving parts here. And that's why it's so tough because you got to do the Trey Young run out of it. And then you got to basically do it the other way. I kind of messed it up right there, but hold on. Bang, just like that. So you got to do the Trey Young. I already showed you how to do that earlier. So if you don't know how to do it, rewind the video. All you do is the Trey Young you're running in one direction. Before you do the Trey Young or the, well, I have on Kemba. So I should be saying Kemba. Before you do the Kemba back the other way like this, you wanna hold the left trigger right as you're doing it. And the tip that I will give to y'all that pretty much no other dribble tutorial mentioned is hold the left trigger until you're doing the Trey Young back the other way. So like a lot of people will say, hold left trigger, let go of left trigger, then do the Trey Young. No, hold left trigger till you're pretty much done going this way. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm gonna try and slow it down to y'all, although it's very tough to slow down. We're gonna do the Kemba this way and I'm gonna stop for y'all. What you wanna do in this position is you're holding the left trigger before you even touch anything to do the Kemba back the other way. You're holding left trigger, what I do first while I'm still holding left trigger is I do the Kemba with the right stick. So just like that, you feel what I'm saying? If you want to practice it, you can hold left trigger. You know what I'm saying? Just get this little move down in place before you start, you know, running with it. And you're holding the left trigger. As soon as you do this with the right stick, that's when you let go of left trigger. 
So you do this, let go of left trigger and start running in that direction. You can't run if you're still holding left trigger. So don't even try to, you know, hold the sprint button and run and push your left stick in that direction because it's not going to work if you're posting up. I know it's confusing, but really, I'm trying to put y'all on. Hold left trigger till you do the Trey Young back the other way. However, you are not going to be able to run with the left stick. Again, left stick moves your player just like this, left and right. You can't do that if you're still holding the left trigger. So do the Kemba like this while you're holding left trigger because you can look at it you can you can do it while you're holding left trigger but right as you do it it's literally a split second it's going to take you a while to get the timing down that is when you want to let go and run in that direction again it's a lot of moving parts one second you're you know flicking your sticks one way and then the next you know you got to hold left trigger you got to flick your sticks the other way it's very confusing it's going to take you some time but trust me Get in the lab, that's a move y'all definitely wanna learn. Now we have the Ja Morant glitch spin. Of course, it looks just like this. And this move's actually pretty easy to do once you get it down, to be honest. How you activate this is just hold the right trigger so the sprint button and flick up on the right stick. It'll play this whole move out if you have on the Ja Morant aggressive breakdown combos. And so look, I'ma pause it for y'all. This is the timing you wanna focus on right there. You guys can see on your screen right there. That is when you wanna flick it again. You wanna flick the right stick up once again now the balls in my left hand once i flick up it's gonna fly into my right hand as you guys can see and what i want to do is i want to kind of turn around with the left stick just like this so i'm not going to even do the glitchy spin i'm just going to turn around like that so you know the ball's in your left hand to start once you flick up on the right stick it's going to go to that right hand so you want to go down left with the left stick i'll put an arrow on the screen for you you know if you're starting with the ball in the left hand you're going to flick up walk to that bottom left with the left stick watch when the ball is right here i'm holding to you know with the left stick to to basically turn around like i said just like this i'm not going to do the glitchy part but just to turn around like that so pretty much right when you flick up you want to start doing that with the left stick and then right there bang you flick up again so you activate the john Morant a second time once again holding the sprint button and flicking up with the right stick so i'm going to hold the sprint button flick up do the left stick thing and then flick up again bang you get the glitchy spin just like that you want to do it the other way of course it's the same exact movements but the left stick is going to go to the bottom right i'm going to be honest with y'all this move is not that effective in order to score but it's one of the glitchiest if not the glitchiest move in the entire game so i figured i would show y'all how to do it because i do do it from time to time when i'm comboing up but look at it like there's not much you can do it's not going to kill your defender or anything like that once again guys if you are or a subscriber comment your instagram or twitter handle below and let me know that you're subbed with nodies on because we are doing some christmas nba 2k24 giveaways if you want to win comment down below and of course make sure you're subscribed if you love the sport of basketball check out my new nba channel solo hoops i'm posting on there every single day talking basketball i'm trying to expand my audience a little bit outside of the 2k community so if y'all are interested there'll be a link in the description the channel's called solo hoops be one of my first subscribers ever and watch the video pop it up on your screen right now